Welcome back. I'm Jane Rogers. So in this short video, we're going to dive into zombie cells, what they are, what they do, and when and why we might want to kill them off. One of the key hallmarks of aging is the accumulation of senescent cells, as they're also called. These are cells that are still hanging around but can't reproduce. They're zombies, and they can sit around in our tissues for decades. A senescent cell has four main characteristics, according to Alan Green, MD, an expert in this area. First, senescent cells are blocked from cell division. They can't reproduce and become two new cells. This has a major impact on tissues which require stem cells to replace lost cells. Now, here's an example. A recent study finds in 70-year-old people, over half of cardiac stem cells are senescent, half and they can't form healthy new heart cells. This contributes to heart failure. Second, senescent cells hurt bystander neighboring healthy cells. This effect is similar to the well-known phenomenon described in that old expression, one rotten apple spoils the barrel. Third, there's a witch's brew, you might call it, of highly active substances produced by senescent cells. This consists of a fearsome mix, including pro-inflammatory cytokines. In chronically inflamed people, it's unhealthy and it leads to quicker aging. It's called inflammaging and it's the driving force in many age-related diseases like heart disease and Alzheimer's. Inflammaging is also a cancer accelerant. Cytokines can make surrounding cells into zombies, prompting tumor growth and spread. And finally, the fourth characteristic of a senescent cell, the most harmful effect, is that they give out special stimuli to end-stage cells, like neurons, forcing them to divide, which will lead to their own cell death or becoming a zombie cell. Green writes, this is the neuron pathway to death in Alzheimer's disease. So now we know what senescent cells are. What do we do about them? David Sinclair, PhD from the Harvard Medical School writes in his book, Lifespan, quote, the best thing to do is to kill them off, unquote, and quote, drugs called senolytics may be what we need to fight the battle of aging on this front, end quote. Senolytics make cells that should have died actually finally kick the bucket. They have the potential to rejuvenate us. In research led by the Mayo Clinic, getting rid of senescent cells in mice makes them healthier and they live longer. Three studies in mice show that getting rid of these zombie cells at the age equivalent to a 40-year-old human confers the greatest longevity benefit. The extension of median lifespan was up to 35%. In another study at Mayo, research with monkeys found the drugs desotinib and feistin together did the best job of killing senescent cells. Feistin, which gives plants such as strawberries and persimmons their color, it also kills zombie cells. Not every patient should have a zombie cell killer prescription, though. However, if your longevity practitioner recommends it for you, he or she might suggest a dose similar to Dr. Alan Green's, which is 100 milligrams of desotinib plus 2,000 milligrams of feistin for two consecutive days, once every three months. However, just like many things in the newly emerging gerotherapy space, there are differences in opinions. Recently, a UCSF scientist said that their studies have shown that when they have used synolytics to kill zombie cells, they've witnessed injuries in organs like the lungs. The lungs are healing more slowly. Once again, consult with your own longevity practitioner first to see if synolytics would be smart for you. And if you want to dive deeper into this research, please see the attachments below. I hope it was helpful, and may we all live better, longer, in health.